So, Anthony, you were asking right away, I guess, team captain, you, you, you need the knowledge, right? Yeah, I so, do. Uh, they are starting out with uh, Takanori Gomi. That's perfect. Is that, is, that, uh, is that the matchup you guys yes. were hoping for? I was maybe? hoping. I was hoping. So yeah, you that's perfect. I'm, too, I'm, I'm so stoked. That's a perfect matchup. Yeah. What do you guys think about their, their lineup overall? Man, they, they came in, by the way, uh, the, eh, like six pounds total less than you guys. We haven't heard uh, their lineup. We haven't heard their lineup. So, yet. their full lineup is uh, Gomi first, then Lombard, then Gracie. Then Eves and the close with Sakuraba. Perfect. Okay. That's exactly what so I have. Yeah, I have a crazy. Nice. I like oh, that. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Maybe yeah. I'm blowing Lombard in there, maybe a couple. Ooh. That'd be good. I'm not gonna lie, that was totally Unless on I purpose. Take Lombard yeah. Out. yeah, that was totally. <laughs> we had already talked, talked about, about it. We, yeah, we, yeah, we, we talked about, about it already. I thought, already. I thought maybe they would lead it. with with Gomi and Hector. I didn't know if they would go one and two or not, but I figured their first two would be those two guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just needed to get Rumble as close to Hector as we could. That's a big motherfucker. He's a beast. He's, he's he, strong. He's, he's, he's strong. an ox. He's it looks an like ox. he's been in the weight room. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Um, a friend of mine, Jay Silva, fought him a while back in Bellator, I think, whenever yeah. it was pretty new. And he was like, I was with him when he got the phone call, and he was like, on a week's notice. I said, hey, when you go in that dog, you just got to go and tackle the man, because if he hits you, <laughs> It's, it's, you're going out. Yeah. And right off the bat, six the seconds into the fight, he smacked <laughs> Jay and Jay was done. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I told you, I told you. But, you know, com competing against a guy to, uh, that's like, you know, Hector, the level of athlete and the freak of nature he is, um, I look forward to it. I think it'll be fun. I don't think anybody here is taking this to the highest level of like, aggression or anything like that, you know what I mean? We're here to have fun and give the fans a show. I don't know how much y'all can get from me because I am not a grappler, but I do something. <laughs> you know, I'll show up. But um, I think we all are here to have some fun and just... Yeah, and win. And win. <laughs> yeah, well, I know Gilbert's competitive, yeah. man. Yeah. I saw you last Look week. Here. See, I'm not in that much fun. First and foremost, I'm here for fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm happy. I'm serious. I'm not, but, but you know what? That. But you know that what, though? It's gonna take it's gonna get harder for me. He's just making that fun. <laughs> you know? See, I've been gone for, what, two years, two and a half years. So, like I said, this, for me, is fun. This is competition. Well, I, I saw him last week. I've never seen yeah. a guy take a grappling match that serious. Normally, yeah. MMA fighters, especially, are like, ah, it's just grappling. No, I take it that that's all serious. I think the the, the competition uh, makes me personally improve so much that that's what I'm taking. As I caution Shelby, as I don't have a fight, I'm gonna be grappling. I wanna I wanna stay active. I wanna stay improving. And no better place to improve than the grappling because we we get in physical. We, we you know get in each other's face. I that's where I grow up on the sports, so I'm thinking very serious. I want to. I want to. Well, me on the other hand, wait a second. I am, wait a second, I am wait not a, a grappler. Wait a second. I wanna, I wanna Can we all be honest one. here? Do we? Does anybody think that we're gonna get on a rumble and Hector matchup, and this is gonna be fun? If you know, <laughs> like, I'll, I'll take you don't, you don't think that these two motherfuckers are going to be going crazy? Yeah. That's going to happen. Uh, but the atmosphere is a lot of fun. I think that's what he's getting at. Like, yeah, it's great. It's great energy. Like, pretty much. We're not sitting in the back, mean mugging each other and no. super stressed like a fight. Yeah. Like, but me, tomorrow it's going to be competitive for sure because I don't like losing. A little bit more, we more competitive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've heard both, both attitudes from all teams, right? Like some people are like, hey, it's funny games, it's good, and then some people are taking it real seriously. I didn't say it was a game. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I said, this one. Where do you stand, Clay? Um, similar on both on both ends. Anytime we get to compete, it's there's a level of respect, uh, there's a level of competition, and it's fun. But ever since I was little, playing baseball, since I was on the football field, when I was in the wrestling, man, I play to win. You know what I mean? I come out to put on a show, and I he like to have football? fun. You're gonna see some <laughs> monkey backflips and crazy stuff, probably. But, yes. And uh, we're gonna have a good time out there. You can have some ice cream up on the mat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't. I can't. Yeah, these guys could probably get <laughs> going a little bit. <laughs> but uh, this is actually, um, I've been, man, I've been competing uh, mixed martial arts for I think almost 15 years, and I've never once done a grappling tournament. I've never done a, a jujitsu tournament. People are like, dude, you've never. You've you never know, done like a naga. No, never, nothing. No, I've, I think I've only been to watch one in my life. <laughs> So this is the first That's amazing. Me. So I'm glad they called me up on short notice. It's going to be awesome. That's awesome. Rumble, I do want to ask you, I mean, you've done a couple of grappling matches in, in during your life. Just one? Okay. <laughs> but this one has the UFC brand. Does it, does it feel like the comeback's getting a little closer? Is this, it sounds like you're just enjoying it. But is That's, it, it, Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on the comeback, but I'm, it's not like on my mind 24-7. Like when I come back, I'll be ready. So I don't really think about it. I just train. And when it's time, it's time. You know what I mean? Right now, I'm just, like I said, having fun, uh, enjoying myself. I've been gone for two, two and a half years. 
Um, there's, there's nothing to take serious right now. Like I said, I'm here to enjoy myself. Because before I took everything so serious, you know what I mean? And that shit is stressful. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just go and have some fun, do what I gotta do, whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm here. What's the holdup in actually getting you back in the cage? You announced you're coming back, but then like you're, you're still hanging around, <laughs> not in your side yet. I mean, what's, what's the holdup? What we're, waiting, we're waiting for the right time. You know what I mean? That's all I'm it's gonna tell right you. It's the right time. We want to see you fight. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta make sure everything lines up right. right you know? the time when I come back, I want to make sure everything is good. I don't want to try and bend any corners or step over anybody. I'm gonna do everything legit in the right way. So when I come back, you know, let's play ball. Dude. Sean, I want to ask you. I mean, I know this has been a frustrating time for you, right? But I mean, this is competition at least of some sort. I mean, does it help? Scratch the itch a little bit, like to, to address like that, that need for competition. Uh, not not quite. There's something different about a fight, being being getting preparing for a fight and being in a fight. But I love to compete, so I'm super excited about this. Took it serious. I was gonna do Nogi Worlds, um, same like tomorrow. But when there's money involved, you gotta just pick the money. So I'm doing this. So I've been I trained like this. You know, I had a little camp for it and everything. And since I've been out, I've been doing jiu-jitsu, so I'm excited to go out there and kind of show where I'm at. Are there any updates on your MMA career as far as what the progression is? Hopefully early next year. I would like bring to them fight back. January. Just bring them back. I think everything's getting kind of, people are understanding what's going on a little bit more, so I think uh, end of January would be ideal. Like to book something by then or hopefully. just to have it clear? Or hopefully hopefully fight. That's what I, yeah, fight. We'll see. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. I'm, I don't know any much more than you guys. So hopefully, fight. I wonder what this experience has been like for you, man. You're such a young kid, and, and, and you man, your star was rising so fast, and you're forced to sit on the sidelines. And I guess I don't know. Maybe mature a little bit, or have to deal with all this stuff. I mean, what's what's this been like for you? Grew a beard. So <laughs> I matured a little bit. No, it's I've I've been like I moved to Phoenix to train to live down there and you know, become world champ. So nothing's changed besides not booking fights. Like that, I literally can still training consistently every day. Um, so nothing's changed just other than I'm not fighting. Like uh, when I come back, I'm gonna come back on, I've evolved a lot. So I'm excited to go out there and be at least able to show that I can grapple. Well, I want to ask you, Anthony, I mean, like you've been around this game for a long time. It's UFC versus pride, the thing that we've always wanted yeah. to see. And you're, you're at the helm of, of team UFC here. So. What's that like for you? I guess it's, I know you're a fan of the sport, you know, yeah. and, and what advice do you have as a, as a team captain? Man, uh, these guys are so good anyways. There's not a lot of advice you got to give, you know, just let them go out and do their thing. Everyone's got different styles and, and different approaches. So uh, really the captain thing is just a title. You know what I mean? It's just, I'm the guy that got most of the emails. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Thank you. <laughs> uh, but like, it's very organized. You know, you know, UFC versus Team Pride, that, that's wild, you know, like, just in some of the names that are over there, you know, it's that's just something that I think, you know, like Sakuraba, I think everyone wants to be able to grapple Sakuraba, you know, like not even in a way that we don't want to go in there and take him out and hurt him. Like it's a bucket list item. Like if you can say at some point in time in your career that you were able to grapple in an actual competition against Sakuraba, that's crazy. And then, I mean, Eve Edwards, that dude's a legend too. You know, like I think he kind of gets like gets lost in the shuffle a little bit he does. when you talk about Team he Pride. Does. But like that dude's as much of a legend in the game as anybody. So. You know, hoping to have the opportunity to compete against him and, and Gregor Gracie. Like, that dude still rolls. He still competes. He's, you know what I mean? Like, he's older, but he's still, that dude's in shape and he's technical as shit. So, uh, it's not like they're bringing in a bunch of old dudes who aren't, aren't dangerous. You know what I mean? That's not, that's not how it is. So, uh, I'm excited, man. It's just, I think, I think this is going to age well. I think, like, later on down the road, you're going to look back at this and see some of the names in there. It's going to be real cool.